welcome back to the workshop. Uh, got something a bit different today. Um, never worked on one of these before. Sorry about that. I've got a sniffles this morning. Um, we're going to be working on this, which is a little Husqvarna 1254 stroke. It belongs to Sue. My granddaughter Katie. Uh, so, uh, I mean, just on a minute. Stand next to bike, Susie. <laughs> it's quite a big bike, as you can see. <laughs> Sue's in Sue, because Sue is actually six foot four. <laughs> Aren't you, Sue? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, the information that we've got is that it starts, because they started it up last night, and uh, when you open the throttle, it stops. So, it sounds like petrol starvation uh, and we know a little bit about what's happened is they took the petrol tap out and it was full of muck so we're going to go down the route of um, pulling the carburetor off giving it a good clean out and, and seeing whether that does it if it doesn't then I think we're going to have to start looking a, li a little bit deeper into what's wrong so best crack on eh <laughs> right um, it'd be nice if it was the way round. Right, we're going to drain the fuel out of this uh, and see. So it's got a good flow out of the out of the tank. I've checked the uh, the vent on this to make sure that that's not um, stopping the fuel coming out. Then the disadvantage of this running water is it always makes you want to go for a pee. <laughs> we'll give it a good clean with some uh, muck junkie before we send it back. Yeah, be all shiny but only for five minutes because she does off-roading with it which is why it's dirty. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't stop you cleaning it when you come back in. No. To take the tank off, won't it? Right. Right, what we need to do is uh, take all these screws and bolts and stuff out of the, the side <coughs> casing. So we use... Use a tub, yeah. One of the tub. One of Neil's tubs. Well, they're mine now, but... Neil, Neil sent him over. Good, thank you, Neil. Always useful. Very, very useful. And always best to get the right size to tiddly boo. Big washer. <laughs> Big washer, not on those ones. It's quite warm today again, isn't it? Mm, it is a bit. A bit humid. We came up with a plan, didn't we, to uh, put the bike on a different. Uh, yeah, we looked around everywhere to try and get some sort of stand and just rub one off another bike. So, that bike is now on a painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not very clever, is it? Not really, but it's not got any weight on it, is it? No, it isn't. It's sort of balancing, really. Well, that's... Over here, would that be easier? Probably. Cut, blimey. Runny snozzle. Yeah. Might be a bit hay fever. 
was a lot of probably um, weed it's pollen. Like, yeah, it is a very high pollen thing at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Just the end of the pollen season. Not according to my nose. <laughs> yeah, again, bloody GoPro has caused us problems again. It's it's stopped the the uh, the sound again. Uh, so if anybody knows anything about GoPros and ceremonic uh, microphones, please let us know because it's driving us nuts. We've had a couple of complaints about the volume and all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, it's getting to the point where it might have to have a hammer to it um, <laughs> and fix it permanently. Um, so we don't know wh how much we've missed or whatever. So we'll just give you... a a yeah. review just in case yeah, a brief lost, catch up a brief catch up so basically we've uh got it on the stand we've taken the bodywork off and the petrol tanks down there and the bodywork's over there we're just going to take the carburetor off just in case you've missed this is a what's it Hus husqvarna, husqvarna 125 four stroke yes all right <sighs> i hate gopros <laughs> i hate gopros Mr. GoPro. Please right. tell us what we're doing wrong, if anything, or yeah, let us know what we need to put it right. Yeah. If not, I'm going to have to kill it. <laughs> what the hell is... Oh, it's maybe... Hmm. Always the wrong, whatever you've got in your pocket is always the wrong one. Yep. Or should I change the taste taste? That was loose. A lot of things have been loose. Yeah. See if we can get this. Uh... Ah, did he? Did he? Oh, it's there. Look. Ah, I can see what the problem is now. <sighs> Gonna end up with that many flipping tools out here. Not be able to move. Right, we've dropped the back end of the bike down to give us a bit more room to get the carburetor out. So, and taking the exhaust pipe off. Exactly well, we right? didn't. Well, we didn't take the exhaust pipe off. We've right. taken all the the bracketry that holds. If you point down here, look. I will point no, no, this bit. Look. So we've loosened this. We've loosened that bit. That bit, so we can get get it out. Yeah. So carburetor's out. Right. Let's have a look inside. Well, there isn't a lot of... muck in there. As much, as, as not as much as I was expecting. But it could still be that the jets are all blocked. So... We will uh, endeavour to uh, get a screwdriver. So, oh. 
All these will go in the ultrasonic cleaner and be cleaned out properly. Another James Bond moment. Yeah. You expect it to die. Oh, I've got itchy nose. Check the diaphragm. That's all okay. Putting that back so I know how it goes. Yeah, we've got a bit to come out, had a bit of a mare, but it's come oh. out. Oh my god. Hay fever is really strong today. Right, so I pretty much know what the problem is, and it's it's this um, choke. Um, you come over here, look. Yeah. Uh, where the hell have I put it? It's uh, here. Oh, there, look. So, this wasn't actually in at all. This was just sat in the bottom. And uh, and that's why it's not doing anything. So, I'm not sure whether that's the... Bits with a carburetor. Yep. Oh, I'm really struggling this morning, Sue. Yeah. Oh, so it literally is only a um, plastic piece of crap. Somebody's had a problem with it before. Yeah, and that this is um you know what that is. PTFE tape. PTFE tape. Hmm. Nearly out of gone. It does actually grip at the last minute. The very last thread. Turn. Yeah. But mm. it's not right. It needs a new one. Okay. I think that's far too short, and I think I can't really tell. But the threads look. Yeah, the threads are gone. It needs a new one of those. It's like all these bits. I mean, I don't know what that. That particular thing is there, but it's. Um, I'm gonna check this. Look, so that is. We'll go half, one, half, two, half, three, and a quarter. So, hmm. we will drop this in the old machine and. Uh, like all these little holes and what have you that um, in, in, in here oh, yeah. that need to make sure that they're all clean and uh, are not so you need to blow down everything and make sure that fluid comes out of those holes otherwise oh god ah, my nose he has tried these hay fever wipes don't seem to have helped not at the minute they don't no. seem to have worked do they there like that. That's pr 
pretty much that's fine all right yep right uh, after a lot of messing about with the old machino and um, everything's clean I've cleaned all the carburetor up and what have you and I started putting old bits and back together again so this is all ready to go back on so make sure it's in its little little bit there might need a bit of a bit of something in there a bit of, a bit of grease so we'll use a bit of little special grease just to hold it down while we put it in everybody has their own ideas on this but I don't know somebody's telling me I should, yeah, you shouldn't do that anyway that only goes in one way so it drops down in there just sits and just holds it in there while you get the top back on there's the top back on <laughs> and the spring goes in that just come around there. Get out of the way, yeah. goes in there like that and then goes in in the hill like that screws Wobbly hand. Not the right screwdriver. I'm not going to tighten it up with that one. It's just because it was to hand. We found the bits online, haven't we? To, yeah, the, um, the, the choke thing. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's ordered. It'll be a few days before it gets here. At least we can put it back together this far. Well, you can, you can carburetor it and go back on because you can get yeah. to that. Yeah, because you can get to the choke. Quite. It, well, so we can put the bike back together. In yeah, theory. we can. Yeah. Right. That's that back together. Right. Put that like that. Right, all these little bits here then, Sue. That one. I think that one's in there, isn't it? That's most probably the wrong way round, but all the spanners away. Oh, I didn't, really didn't know whether we were going to come back and do it, did we, today? No, we weren't sure. No. I'm sort of not sure whether it was even... Right, that's in there. Oh. That was somebody at the door then. Right, okay. um, sorry about that, we just got... Uh, interrupted, didn't we? Yes, by Matt from Nichromobium. If anybody doesn't know what Matt does, if you have a look at some early videos, he's on there. He's a he does titanium welding and, and makes exhausts and all sorts of things for cars. Lots of pretty things. A very clever guy. Um, I'm not just saying that. But, uh, we we do little bits and bobs for for him. Uh, on the lathe um, so yeah. he's got some projects on the go so right let's give that a bit of a wash <laughs> yeah so 
we were doing. We were going all right, weren't we, for a minute or two there? Yeah. Um, and then... Back to the job in hand. Yeah. Rightio, that's all the carburetor back together and they're tight. We haven't got a book of destructions, have we, on this thing? No, got nothing. Right, that's the carburetor back together again. Um, obviously, we're waiting on the uh, choke bit, this bit, because it, um, it's supposed to th thread in there, but there's, I don't know whether you can actually see. The threads, there's not hardly any threads left in it. So we've ordered a new one of those. So hopefully that'll come soon. Because that was basically just, well, you can see, look. Not very good. And of course that's the choke, so it most probably put, put a ton of fuel in it. So wait for the new bits for those. We can put the carburetor back on, can't we? Yeah. Um, I say it's all been cleaned out. Everything's okay, as they say. So, we'll take that off there. We'll come around this side. We'll put that up there. Ooh, there. Oh, God. Do you know, my nose has started itching again, Sue. Maybe you're allergic to something. I'm allergic to Husqvarna's. And not many people know that, Sue. There's a little little bit in the middle. Can you see? Bit sticking out there. Then, yes. Yeah, and that sits in right in the middle, so you know it's it's right. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's tight. 